Welcome to the Elmwood St. Joseph Cemetery's Throwback Thursday, where we highlight the life of a Mason City citizen that has made a significant impact on our community. This week we featured Safford Locke. The Milwaukee and St. Louis 457 engine idling on the tracks at the Crystal Sugar Plant, a photo in black and white that seemed to leap out of the two dimensions. Safford's work became art photography, photos that capture the feelings and vision of the photographer so much more than what the camera sees. Photos that capture the life and times of North Iowa by Safford Locke. Born in 1906 on the family farm northwest of Mason City, Safford lived there until he turned five years old and the family moved to Mason City. His interest in photography was ignited by his membership in the science club at the Mason City High School and the encouragement of Miss Lydia Barrett, the librarian at the Mason City Public Library where the group often met. The group experiments with cameras, glass negatives, and photographic lab methods. Park College in 1926 opened the door of opportunity as he became the unofficial photographer for the school. Safford developed his own powder flash from asbestos and a Ford automotive coil. Graduating in the bleakest days of the Great Depression, work of any kind was hard to find for Safford and his newlywed wife, Lena. Safford continually worked to refine his photography skills and organized a shop in his basement. Newspaper photos were engravings. Photos taken were sent to engravers in Waterloo to be processed into engraved plates ready to be printed in the paper the next day. Beginning in 1934, Safford began working with the Globe Gazette to take news photos for the paper, processing them in a studio, and then the news photos were ran in the evening paper. Locke ran his own studio, processing lab, while selling chemicals and equipment. In addition to the 40 years he was affiliated with the Globe Gazette, he took photos for a variety of state offices, clubs, organizations, and businesses. As a community leader, he documented life in North Iowa for decades to come. The Kenny Pioneer Museum, located near the Mesa City Airport, has a variety of Safford's cameras on display and able to be viewed. Thank you for watching Throwback Thursday. Elmwood St. Joseph Cemetery is dedicated to providing a beautiful setting to celebrate life and history. For more videos or information about our cemetery, check out our YouTube or Facebook pages by using the link in the description below.